Hey everyone, it's me, and this, this day I'm going to do an audio reading from this one Darwin P. Kid Do It Yourself book. Anyway, I'm going to be doing some drama reading from the comics. Just going to find it. Okay. Uh, first one's called Fart Police. I'm going to be reading that. One night in the suburbs. Blarp. Fart police, you're under arrest. It, it wasn't me. It, it was my daughter. Don't you know that girls don't fart? Nice try. You're going to a slammer. In Mr. Gonzalez's bathroom. Fart police, you're under arrest. We'll be deporting you back to Mexico. But I literally just farted. Yeah, but why? You must have eaten a burrito, huh, pal? Yeah, I, I created that one. Next one. Okay. Uh, these are letter cards that Greg has sent. Um, Dear Aunt Jean, thank you for the wonderful socks you knitted for me. But next time, could we just stick with cash? Dork! I'm so sorry that it didn't work out with you and Lindsay. P.S. Could you, th could you think if she finds out I'm cute? Greg is heartless. I swear to God. Okay, next one's called the uh, Extreme Skaters. Uh, th this one I did my own. Yo, I bet you 50 cents you can't ollie over that rock. You are on, dude. That was so easy. <laughs> you still owe me 50 cents. Cliff. Right, this is what I did. Yo, I'm gonna do a gnarly ollie off this. You're on, bro. Later. Ambulance. Okay, this one is a... Uh, I'm just reading the little blurb things from oh, this thing. I wonder if my band-aid fell in a bag of potato chips. Thank you both for saving us. Actually, it was like 99% me. Greg, little Joey fell down the well, and he needs you to save him. Again. Scream. Okay, now is a Zooey Mama by uh, Rowley Jefferson. Excuse me, sir, can I see your neck for a second? Sure, but how come? Because I am a vampire. Zooey Mama. Phew, I just had a dream that I was buried alive. Hi, I am buried alive. Zooey Mama. My new cloning gun can make copies of anything. Oh, you're full of baloney. Zap. Zooey Mama. And this one's called Trevor the Talking Sideburn. It's weird. Hi, I'm Douglas. And I'm Trevor. I'm always saying wacky things get Douglas in trouble. Hey, kid, you know where the park is? Um, no, but did anyone tell you to look just like your dog? Pipe down, Trevor. What did you say? Uh, I take it back. Your dog is actually a lot better looking than you. I apologize, dog. How? I really need to do something about this infernal mutton chop barbershop. That's it. Could you please shave off my sideburn? On second thought, could you please break both of my arms? Whatever you say, pal. Crunch. Snap. Rats! Now I can't even shave off my sideburn. What a pity. Okay, this one's called Gareth the Green Bean by Fregley. Gareth is just an ordinary student who just so happens to be a green bean. Gareth, actual size. Gareth's classmates are always picking on him because he's so small. Hey, you're sitting in my seat. I don't see your name on it. It's about to have a little green stain on it. Gareth tries out for a lot of sports, but doesn't have a lot of luck. Look at what's hanging out of my nose, fellas. <laughs> Unhand me, you fiend. Even Gareth's teachers sometimes give him a hard time. You did pretty well in this test for a pea brain. If you're suggesting I'm a pea, I don't find it very amusing. Calm down, son. You're as right as a beat. One day, Gareth thinks of something that makes him feel happy. Well, at least I'm special because I'm the first bean who ever went to the school. Sorry, Gareth. Look at this old yearbook. Gordon, football captain, most popular, honor roll, drat. Creighton the comedian is coming up next. Okay. Okay, here is my first knock knock joke. Who's there? Creighton is here. Ain't that funny? No, it's not funny. It's not even real knock knock joke. Whoops, I thought it was funny. Okay, I got a good one. Th one time this chicken, and then all across the road. Oops, I think I'm not that one up. These jokes are terrible. Okay. Now I'm gonna do something that's called Wacky Headlines. Ooh, I love this kind of stuff. Me too. Alligator eats man. Homeless shelter burns down. 
Plane Wreck Kills 7. Those are wacky. They're tragic. Oops. I thought they were wacky. They're the worst can be never. Boo. Girls rule. Okay. Hey, did you see Jessica Pratt today? Yeah, I mean, I told us like a clown. Lol. Lol. Hi, Tabitha and Lisa. Can I sit with you? Sorry, Amanda, but we aren't friends with people who don't have a cell phone. Besides, aren't you wearing the same earrings as yesterday? Yeah, but... Don't. Hey, you! Throw a ball back to us! Why don't you try calling Amanda by her real name? Oof. Girls rule. Jerome, the man with incredibly red lips. Like Greg Heffer. Jerome at the gym. Hey, what are you doing with lipstick in here? It's not lipstick. I just have very red lips. Are you sassy punk? Oop. Dinner at the boss's house. There's a hey, Jerome, have you been kissing my wife? Actually, this is a natural shade of my lips. I like this story. You're fired. Jerome's new job. I'm gonna kill whoever drinks the rest of my cherry Kool-Aid. Uh-oh. More fart police. As if the first one wasn't bad enough. <laughs> We're so proud of you, Joey. Thanks, Aunt Lydia. Whoop. Fart police, you're under arrest. But it wasn't my fault. My aunt squeezed out of me. Tell it to the judge, kid. Fort police, put your hands in the air. I thought public restrooms were free fart sounds. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. <laughs> fart police, he caught you red-handed. I think the doc must have caught in my pants or something. Sure, that's what they all say. Let's go down to the station, bub. <laughs> See, I told you so. You got lucky this time. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Next week, the fart police invade a burrito factory. <laughs> Ugly Eugene. Oh, God. Actually, my name is just Eugene. It should just be ugly. Dang. Hey, ladies, what's new? Nothing, since you are still ugly. Ha ha ha. Hi, Mom. Do you think I'm kind of ugly? No, son. I think you are very ugly. Shoot. Darner, I'm tired of being ugly, and I'm gonna do something about it. Make sure by rubbing dirt all over your face. Ha ha ha. Hey, doctor, can you make me beautiful? Yeah, but it's gonna cost you extra. How come? Because I don't have this done to me for 12 hours. Oh. Two hours later. Hey, ladies, how you let me know? Not much. Check out his paper. Ugly is new cool. New pulse says beautiful is boring. Dang. Alright, next comic. Action Fighters and Creighton the Dinosaur. Different ones and pages. I'm gonna hit you with my skeleton, Mr. Puncho. Oh no, here it comes. Ah! Uh, tomorrow, look out. Feel the wrath of my skill, you villain. This really stinks. It's gonna hurt, I think so too. Tomorrow, pain. The story so far, Captain Clobber is about to clonk Mr. Puncho upside the head with a skillet. Almost there, no! Tomorrow, impact. Bonk. Ow. Next week, Mr. Puncho hits back. Creighton the Dinosaur. Hi kids, I am Creighton the Dinosaur. Hi Creighton, sing us a song. You take a nursery rhyme and switch out the words like this. When you go across the street, look both ways, won't that be neat? Okay, let me try. You should smell this costume's feats. I ain't washed it in six weeks. That's totally inappropriate for children. Yeah, thanks for ruining our imaginations. Gareth the Green Bean runs for office. Hey, there's Gareth. Let's step on him. No, I don't want to get beaten juice on my shoe. Ha 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 ha. I've had it with these imbeciles. I need to do something to get power with him. But what? Student council elections today. Oh ho ho! What's this? Put me on the ballot for president. The results come in. Gareth wins. You people are not my servants. Bow down to your new master. Pipe down, you stupid legume. You're just a bean president. Not only that, but a student council bean president. Giraffe. Next episode, Gareth's Revenge. This one's the worst one out of them all, I'd say. The Joshy comic. <laughs> God. One Saturday afternoon at normal time in the United States. Children, it's time for you to clean your room and prepare for bed. Oh, gee, Paul, do we have to? You must do your father's bidding. Aw, oh, fooey. Just then, bust. Joshy! Yes, Jonas this is I, European singing sensation Joshy. <laughs> Joshy, we're amazed you're here. Only yesterday we bought your single Too Tough to Be Mean, which was available for download on your website. 
and I purchased your ringtone for only two ninety nine. But what brings you to our humble home? I heard the sounds of disharmony in this family dwelling. We're sorry, Joshy. We'll listen to our parents from now on. Little children, it is not your fault. It is the presence of the fiend's poor attitude and disrespect that plagues this household. But what can we do in the face of such a madness? Leave that to Joshy. Fist punch. Full kick. Hooray! Joshy, what error can we do to repay you? I only ask you to download my new single, Children of the World, which is now available online for three ninety nine. Children of the world, together let us bow to listen to our parents and do the bidding now. We know our parents love us, so do what's right. We'll always be obedient and not put up a fight. Now that's a message everyone can enjoy. I must leave now, children. Just remember, respect your parents and follow your dreams. Hey kids, now you can relive the fun of Joshy Action Comics, the all new Joshy Talking Door. Respect your parents and follow your dreams. Don't use words that hurt. Super cool. Fist punch. Full kick. Eat. Be nice. Boys, place Joshy in super cool action poses. Girls, exercise Joshy with the dreamy pop star pack. In stores now, Joshy plushies. They're so cute. Joshy is not condoned violence and Joshy enterprise is not responsible for injuries. I resolve and irritating Joshy has things. Ah, <sighs> advertising is in a nutshell. Gareth the Green Bean in Gareth's Revenge. One day, a letter arrives in the mail for Gareth. What's this? Dear Gareth. You have been chosen to attend the Greenwalt's School of Wizards and Warlocks, which is no way for the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hmm, take that, you fiends! Zap! Ah! And so, Gareth decides to attend. Remember, with power comes responsibility. Yes, 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 just give me my wand and my hat. Seven long years later, Gareth returns to his hometown. Feel my wrath, you fools! Zip! Hey, that tickles! <laughs> I guess you're only a bean, you got bean sized powers. Rack em, frack em. These are really weird ones. And then up uh, coming up next is Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid by Rowley Jefferson. Hey, he copied me. My master wanted me to walk to the park. But I guess you could say I got too tired. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Office antics. Here are the copies you reports you asked for, sir. Thank you. But why did it take you three weeks to make 100 photocopies? Wait, I was supposed to photocopy the reports? I copy them all by hand. Oh, Gramsci. So, Gramsci, to use a computer, you just move the mouse like this. What, in domination? I didn't know room if that's what takes me modern. Oh, Gramsci. <laughs> yeah. Now, Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, and then, uh, that's it. Dear Diary, today I spent my allowance money on a gift for Greg. He is my very best friend in the whole wide world, so I gotta lock him with a belt where to make it official. Best friends. It turns out Greg doesn't really like jewelry, but I'm still gonna wear my hat. That's for girls! Maybe Greg is still mad at me for what I did Saturday when I slept over at his house. He caught me in the bathroom trying to find a retainer, and he yelled at me for ten whole minutes. I said I'm sorry! Sometimes Greg gets frustrated with me and calls me bad names, but I don't mind too much. I still know that I'm an awesome friendly kid because my mom and dad are always telling me. Rowley, you are such an awesome, friendly kid. Dear Diary, I sure am glad to have Greg as my best friend because he has always given me tips about school. But today he told me the boys and girls locker rooms in the gym were labeled wrong. Well, it turns out Greg goes facts mixed up on that one. Ah! I got sent to the principal's office, and then after that I found Greg to tell him the doors weren't labeled wrong after all. Whew, thanks. Greg actually makes kind of mistakes a lot. Last year, Greg told me the next day was pajama day at school, and it turned out he was wrong. <laughs> Luckily, Greg forgot to wear his pajamas to school, so he didn't get embarrassed, too. Sometimes Greg is a little grouchy, but I'm always doing things to cheer him up. Whoops. <laughs> such a dog poop. So now you can see why me and Greg are such good pals, and why we will always be best friends forever. So there you have it. I had you had to go sit through 14 minutes of cringe. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>